Hi, this is the Milton Public Library and this is Michelle coming to you with a project from our teen summer pro reading program. And I want to talk to you a little bit about that before we get started today. For uh, This is the paperwork that we are putting in bags if people come and do curbside service and they are available to anyone who is interested just by calling the library. There, there are programs for ages 12 to 18. If you participate in a minimum of three of the activities that we have scheduled this summer, you can fill out your name, your age, your school, and check off what you have done throughout the summer, and your name will be added into a registry for one of two $50 debit cards. So obviously, if you do more than three, then your name is entered every single time you do one of these projects. So it's a really good opportunity for you to possibly win a debit card. The, the, the drawing will take place in September. The other thing that we're offering this year is a story writing contest, which has to be submitted ahead of time. But if you go to our website and look at the information on there, you will be able to get all the details that you need to enter that contest as well. And make sure you register. You need to register online for these programs. And there are some, uh, some of the books that the schools have assigned for you to read over the summer. Those are available here. Come call us on curbside or check them out on the website and put them on hold and we'll have them ready for you, give you a call when they're available. And you can come pick them up out back. Also, read a book of your choice. That's the last option on our summer reading program list. So make sure you take advantage of all of this and just have a good summer. So let's get started. Today's project is going to be, you're going to have an opportunity to make either a zine or a coat of arms. You might know what a zine is far better than I did, but I found them very interesting when I discovered them. So a zine is like a mini magazine and I'm gonna show you how to make one of those. So you can have a choice of making either the zine or a Harry Potter kind of coat of arms. Whichever you choose, we're going to put the, all of the materials that you will need inside a bag for you so you can come pick them up and then you can do whatever you want. One of the reasons why I chose this particular project is because the overall theme for the summer is about story writing or about your story. So what I wanted to do was get to know you guys a little bit, but I think it's really important before you start writing and discovering who you are to try to, or before you start writing and putting out there who you are, that you kind of discover who you are. But we'd like to know a little bit more about you too. So this is an opportunity for you to share with us what kind of, what kind of things you like, what you don't like, um, how many family members you have. You don't have to get detailed or personal, but just so that we get to know each other a little bit better. So if you do register for this program, you will find a bag available to you out back with a, a templated um, piece of cardstock that has different shapes of coats of arms. Now, I don't know if you know what a coat of arm is, but a coat of arm years ago was very important to a family. It had symbolism as to what that, that family stood for. And if the family was um, proud of their heritage, then they would definitely have strong symbolism in their coats of arms. So this, again, is an opportunity for you to choose what your strengths are and highlight those in your coat of arms. So you will have a template. You will have a piece of paper. This is for the zine, if you choose to do that. And you will have a questionnaire. The questionnaire, nobody gets to see but you. You can fill it out and choose what topics you find to be the most interesting and which ones you think you could come up with some good creative ideas. So I'm gonna show you first my zine again, a little bit more clearly than what you saw before. This one is What About Me? And if you open my first page, that's my family. My family tree, all of my kids, my grandchildren. Christmas is my favorite season, so I did a little bit about that. My favorite color is blue. One of my favorite reads is To Kill a Mockingbird, and one of my hobbies is reading. And I like working in the library. 
especially with the teens. So anyway, I'm going to show you how to fold this book. So what you do is you take a piece of paper, an eight and a half by 11, and you're going to fold it in half like this first. And make sure you crease it good. And you're going to open it back up. And you're going to fold it in half the other way. And again, you're going to crease it really well. And then you're going to open it again. And this time, you're going to take your outside edge and fold it to the middle and crease it again. And this side, same thing, fold it to the middle and crease it again. Now we're going to open it up and we're going to fold it like this. We're going to take a pair of scissors and we're going to cut to that first crease right there. And you're gonna open it back up. It's going to look like this. You're going to take your piece of paper, push it like this, fold it in, and fold it back. Very simple. I'm sure it could be done better than that one. Now. When you are done folding, you're going to want to make sure that you know what you're working with. So if I were to open this up, this is what it's going to look like. I'm gonna turn it this way so that you can see. This is your front cover and your back cover. This is page one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now when you're working on your front cover and your back cover and page five and six, those are going in the right direction. But when you want to do something on pages one through four, you're gonna to wanna to be able to turn it around and make sure you're doing it in the right direction. Otherwise, you'll have pages upside down in your zine. So that's how you put your zine together. Super easy, kind of fun. And you can go ahead and decorate it however you want. And that's it for the zine. That's pretty easy. So, and again, you might take your questionnaire and come up with the ideas that you'd want to put in it. For the Harry Potter type um, coat of arms, I'm going to show you mine again. Now, my first name is Michelle, so therefore the M. My name means close to God. So I couldn't figure out exactly what I was going to be able to do to make that um, symbolism, but I googled um, symbols for God, I believe, just being close to God, and this is what I came up with, and I thought that was kind of cool. I'm French-Canadian by birth. My uh, Most of my family is French-Canadian, so the fleur-de-lis is a symbol of Canada and France, and the French particularly, so I figured that was appropriate. Again, I've got my family tree on here, and I listed several of the books that I have really enjoyed over the years. And Roosters, uh, I don't really know why I did that, except that I really like Roosters, um, as long as they're stuffed and not real. The real ones scare the dickens out of me. But anyway, I have a collection of them in my house, so I put those on. So I ended up just decorating mine in various ways and coloring the it and finishing it that way. And it was kind of fun and interesting and made me really think and get creative. So that's an option for you as well. You can use um, magic or yeah, markers. Markers are good for making these. I use colored pencils because um, I didn't have any markers. <laughs> so I use colored pencils. You can use wrapping paper. If you've got old extra wallpaper at home, that's a great thing to use. Um, pictures from magazines work well. Um, some old lace, say mom's got some old lace laying around, you could decorate it with that. Patches, I don't know if you were in the scouts at all, but maybe you could use some of your scouts for your scout patches for that. Buttons, use your imagination, because that's what this is all about.
It's imagining who you are, creating who you are, putting it on paper and allowing others to see. So after you can choose to do either the coat of arms or the zine, or if you're really feeling creative, do it both. And then what we want to know and what we'd like to see is you take a snapshot of that and send it to us via Facebook so that we, or email so that we know what it is that you've done and we get a little peek at who you are. So some, I think that's it for this particular project. Um, next week's project is going to be dragon cuffs. I should have brought one so that you could see what those are. They're kind of made with some fingerless gloves and you use some flower petals on them to make them look like scales. They're really kind of cool. So, and the other things that you can look for that we'll be coming up with this summer is the Yalsa Top 10 2019 books. Are going, we're going to do some short book talks on them. Um, they'll be cut into several weeks because there are a lot of books that we'll be talking about. Also, the Yalsa books, the 25 nominees that have been put up for 2020. And then if you read some of these, you get to choose your top 10 and vote on those. And that takes place between August 15th and October 12th. So you've got time, call ahead, get some books, start reading and get ready to, to vote for those. And we'll also be talking about the top, t the 10 Green Mountain Book Awards. So lots of things going on. Don't get bored. Make sure you keep yourself active and just enjoy yourself. So I will see you soon. Thanks.